today's video I'm gonna show you how to grow revenue for your e-commerce brand with the help of data so let's get started let me show you an equation that helps you to grow your revenue you get revenue that is equals uh, users multiply by conversion rate and multiply by average order value minus funds so let's assume that we get a e-commerce store and we got a uh, 100k users per month with the conversion rate uh, 2% and average order value $100 and uh, refunds uh, is 10k it means that based on these numbers our e-commerce store generates uh, 190k in revenue so what we can do next is to estimate what metrics we can improve to double for instance our revenue if we improve each metric by 30 percent it will uh, double our revenue let me show you so uh, if we got uh, 130k users 2.6 percent conversion rate average order value 130 dollars and for instance refunds in this case will be 30k means 30 percent increase of each metric and our overall revenue in this case will be 400k yeah but this situation is quite difficult to achieve let's estimate that we can only tweak one metric at a time for instance uh, we increase uh, our user base or conversion rate or, or average order value by 30 percent and uh, we'll see uh, what uh, we got in first uh, case it will be plus uh, uh, 30 percent of users and uh, conversion rate will remain the same average charger value will be the same and refunds uh, uh, will be a 30k it means that our store will generate uh, 230k in revenue if we just tweak one metric i will improve other metrics as well like conversion rate and average charger value to show you the result as you can see on the screen if we improve one metric by 30 percent it will uh, significantly boost our revenue and the ideal situation uh, to double our overall revenue is to increase all the metrics all our major metrics by 30 percent but it is quite difficult to achieve so we can only for instance you can only focus for one month on one metric like improving conversion rate only or average order value and so on and other months you will change your focus and uh, you're trying to improve other metrics let me show you how to break down each ma our major metrics like users convention rate and average order value to see how it can improve the overall uh, revenue so the first our pillar is uh, users we can break down users for, by our reach times uh, CTR for reach uh, it is important to understand our top of the funnel traffic sources middle of the funnel traffic sources and bottom of the funnel traffic sources uh, they are split uh, split by channels and so on and for CTR it is important to check our creatives its performance uh, so you here you can test different angles for your ads and uh, to do good creatives you need to understand your customer segments really good and their pain points what problems you solve and so on for conversion rate is also two main pieces is uh, conversion rate optimization and our funnel we got for our funnel we what we should uh, monitor daily is uh, our product views add to carts checkout and uh, transactions here we need to monitor the difference between each step uh, it means uh, we monitor cart abandonment rate checkout abandonment rate and impact uh, the overall conversion rate for conversion rate optimization this is most important to monitor not only your quantity of data but also quality of data like surveys live chats and so on and if you get a good volume of transactions every month you can do a b tests average order value breakdowns by price per unit for a particular product and uh, quantity sold um, the most important is to check your upsells cross-sells and also your incentives 
on site i mean by incentives um, like free shipping uh, bulk discounts and so bundles to improve to overall uh, average order value the last piece is refunds and here we need to have a good communication between support marketing team and logistics and um, here you can monitor metrics like response time delivery time and for marketing it is important to monitor locations where you promote your products maybe it is not uh, possible to deliver a particular product in a particular location that's why uh, we can uh, remove uh, these locations from uh, our targeting and uh, significantly decrease number of refunds. Also make sure to check uh, my video about how to cut costs for your e-commerce store and if you think that you have troubles with your data for your e-commerce store then book a call with me and I will show you some gaps and, and the way how to build a modern uh, data infrastructure to, to monitor all these metrics in one place and quickly find insights.